In this lesson, we'll conclude a review of Math Test 10, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We are on the last four questions in the grading section. All right, question 35. In the equation above, A and B are constants. If the equation has infinitely many solutions for X, what's the value of B? So infinitely many solutions, that really means that the two lines are equivalent. We've seen this with uh, systems of equations, and this is no different. These lines, if they're equivalent, are really right on top of each other. They're the same line, so they'd have infinite intersections and solutions. So we just can distribute the A, and so we get AX plus AB equals 4X plus 10. And so remember, the equations are equal, so we know that A is 4. We can plug in a 4 here. So we have 4B equals 10, and so b equals 10 over 4, or 2.5. Question 36. In the xy plane, a line that has the equation y equals c for some constant c intersects a parabola at exactly one point. If the parabola has the equation y equals negative x squared plus 5x, what's the value of c? So it really helps if you understand how graphs and our functions um, and lines, just, just how they would appear and in terms of intersections, let's think about it. So a parabola, I'll just kind of draw here, a parabola and a line, let's think about how many times they could possibly intersect. Well, the line could go completely through and intersect twice, that's the most. A line could completely miss the parabola and not intersect at all, but what about one? The only time that a line can only intersect one place on the parabola, it has to be right when it's tangent that have to be at the vertex at the highest or lowest point because otherwise it would when it's going through it, it would hit the other side of the parabola so if you know that concept it makes this question easier so we want to find c y equals c we really want to find the y the y point on the vertex and an efficient way to do this problem this is a standard form of parabola let's think about how do we find the vertex when we have the standard form of the parabola if you remember negative b over 2a, right? It's a little segment of the quadratic formula, right? Negative b, and then it's all over 2a. If you just remember negative b over 2a, when a parabola is in standard form, you can use this to find the x point of the vertex. And so here's our a, here's our b. We don't have a c, so negative b is going to be negative 5. And our a is 1, right? It's just negative x. So it's going to be negative 2, right? Because of the negative here. And so our x coordinate of the vertex is just 5 halves. To get the y, which is the c, we just plug it in because remember it's equal to y. And so let's just plug in 5 halves. So we have to square it first and then add up the negative sign. So it's going to be negative 5 halves, or sorry, it's going to be 5 halves squared and then negative. So that's going to be 5 halves squared is 25 over 4 and then right we, there's not a parenthesis so this is going to be the negative here so that's the first term plus 5 times 5 halves so 5 times 5 halves is going to be 25 halves and you could use your calculator here but what I'm going to do I already have a 4 in the denominator I'm just going to make this 50 over 4 and then just add them together so negative 25 plus 50 so the answer is 25 over 4 positive. All right, so if you remember negative b over 2, that'll make that question a lot easier. Okay, let's do the last two problems. And looks like we have a paired question for number 37 and 38. Let's go a little bit higher. A, the peregrine falcon can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour while diving to catch prey, making it the fastest animal on the planet when in a dive. Question 37, what is the peregrine's falcon maximum speed while diving to catch a prey in feet per second? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. And if the conversion, how many miles in a, um, how many feet in a mile? So feet per second. So you really wanna be careful with these unit conversion questions. Let's start out, we know 200 miles per hour. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna, it has to be feet in per second. Just let's not think about feet, let's just do miles per second. So we know there's 60 minutes in an hour and then 60 seconds. So you could divide by 60 twice. What I'm gonna do is just take 200, remember this is miles, and divide it by 3,600. You could do 60 twice. 
but that would convert the hours into seconds. So 200, <clears throat> this pen sticks, keep adding this extra zero, divided by 3600. Okay, <laughs> 200 divided by 3600. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to type it. I should have thought of this before. So 200. Sorry, this took so much time. All right, so we get 0 0.05555. So remember, this is going to be two. This is going to be miles per second. Miles per second. We don't want miles per second. We want feet per second. And so what's the last step? We would multiply this this is in terms of miles to get the feet and so this will be your answer so we multiply it by five two eight zero and the question says answer to the nearest whole number so it's just 293 right that's the nearest whole number so just be careful last question number 38 if the peregrine falcon dove at its maximum speed for half a mile to catch a prey how many seconds would the dive take so we're told here 200 miles per hour. And I'm going to set up a ratio. So this is going to be per one hour. And when you do this to cross multiply, just make sure you're consistent on both sides. So we've got miles on top. And on the bottom, we've got it an hour. And so half a mile, so this is going to be 0.5. Remember, this is miles. And this is x. And now we just cross multiply. And we're solving for some ratio of an hour. And so we're gonna get two we're gonna get two hundred x equals 0.5. And so we're just gonna take 0.5 and divide it by two hundred. So it's doing this again. <laughs> 0.5. All right, so this is what we get. We get 0 0.0025. And think about what is this? Remember, we solved for x here. This is in terms of, this is a fraction of an hour. And look at the question. It's asking for how many seconds for the dive. So this is an hour. So just like in number 37, how do we convert hours to seconds, right? So we're, we're not gonna divide here. We're gonna multiply this out. We're going to multiply by 3600 because remember this is hours and we want to get the seconds and so we're going to multiply i know it's a division sign but it's multiplication so it's this ratio times 3600 thousand all right so the answer here is nine